So many of you have asked how I get this makeup look. Let me show you. Okay, so typically during the week, I do not wear makeup. I mean, I just kind of love having nothing on my face and, and just letting it breathe. And if you watch my morning and night routine, you know I love my La Mer Mist and just spraying all day long and feeling like it's all growing. However, sometimes I do have to wear makeup. So just to recap, if you watched my morning routine, what I'm really into right now is I wash my face with our Caviar Cleanser from Consult Beauty. Then I use my Externa Q. I love the Coprum 29 Serum, my Champagne Lift Facial Cream, and my Regeneral Eye. Those are awesome. So maybe you're thinking, what about Volumigen? Well, so I have this, again, psoriasis. That's why I have no fingernail. It's really sad. Um, I have this Volumigen Tinted Moisturizer from Console Beauty that I love, love, love. So Volumigen, as I'm doing this, by the way, you just need a little tiny bit. The thing I hate is when people cake on makeup so much. You know, the whole point is to make your skin beautiful and then just put on something to even it out. You don't want to be wearing a mask. You still want the, the nice quality of your skin to shine through. So Volumigen is this really cool product that we have that basically is dehydrated hyaluronic acid and marine collagen filling spheres. And they go on the top layer of your skin and they use the body's own moisture to plump out the skin. Cool, right? So like some people get injections and look like, you know, the big lip or a big thing. And by the way, I don't get filler in my cheeks. If you go look at pictures of me from, I don't know, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, my face is so big and round and I so miss it. But, you know, as we get older, we lose facial fat. So I am a little more sculpted, but I still thankfully have my cheeks, which is very exciting. Anyway, so I do my Volumigen um, uh, tinted moisturizer and then I have a Volumigen concealer. By the way, I just want to point out a few things here on my um, table. I know I'm so anal about things being organized, but Every drawer in my house, if you open it, it's all perfect. This is the one area that just is constantly a shit show. And I think it's because, you know, like people send me, like I just got these really cool things from Morphe that I want to try and these Dior lipsticks. And I put them here thinking, all right, I'm going to test them and see and whatever. And then they just end up living here. And then, of course, I have Katerina made me this mom painting. And this is... Uh, Coco made me for Mother's Day, I love you because, which is so sweet, but you know that they probably wrote all those words on the board and they just chose. Um, and here's little Coco, look how cute she is. Um, Kat made me this, or was it Coco? Oh dear, no, I can't remember, that's a problem. Oh no, Coco, Coco made those too, I think. Oops, uh-oh, the hippo went down. All right, I hope Coco made these because now I can't remember. I need to write someone's name on the back of that. And then Coco <laughs> made me this. Can you see what it is? It's actually, you know, it's like, a, it's like a hippo, like as if someone has put the hippo on a plaque and hung it on the wall, which really isn't good because we don't really want to hurt a hippo, but she made it and has eyelashes. It's very cute. So the hippo lives here. Okay, there we go. Oops, hippo down. Come here, hippo. There you go. All right, there we go. So. Now, look how cute this is. It looks like a little egg cup, but it's actually for your beauty blender. I like the black ones. Um, all right, so then I use my Volumigen concealer. You don't really have to use a sponge. You can just use your fingers. I actually carry this with me all day long and I just reapply with my fingers, which is good. Oh my God, my chair is squeaky, which is so annoying. All right, so what I like to do is go into all these little areas, you know, get those little veins and red spots and whatnot. Um, so now I have all of my makeup on, but my skin looks still pretty fresh and natural. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. And even if you, you know, go on your 100 zoom mirror like that, it looks good. Doesn't look bad. Looks good. Looks natural. Looks fresh. Okay, so I do that. Then um, take my makeup brush. By the way, I am going to show you how to clean your brushes later. I'm so bad at it. It's so gross, but I'm going to show you how to clean them. This is Jane Erdale. It's I-R-E-D-A-L-E. -E. I like this powder. It's nice. It's very light. 
So I just kind of use it on the T-zone and down here. Then, so I love this Tom Ford bronzer, but I needed something smaller a couple of weeks ago when I was traveling and Max gave me this bronzer from Tarte and I love it. So it's called Park Avenue Princess. Apropos. <laughs> and so I put it in the hollows of the cheeks, the temple area. I like to go under the jawline a little bit. Some people do a three. And then I fill it in just a little bit. So I get a little even color. Okay. Now my new favorite blush is this Dior blush right here. I really should have glasses so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And it's called 962 Poison Matte. Poison Matte? Poisson? It's not Poisson. Poisson's fish. Anyway, Poison Matte. There you go. Really nice color on the cheeks. My mother's obsessed with blush. Always was, even when I was a child. She was like, can't go out of the house without blush. There you go, Mom. There's the blush. Then I have this... Um, Becca Champagne Pop Liquid, and I take the back side of my blender. Some people like to add this to their foundation for kind of an all over shimmer. I've never done that before, I should try that. But I just like to do it here, like on my eyelids. See how it gives you just that nice little shimmer? Mm -mm -mm. Maybe just in the lips a little bit, okay. So that was that. Now, dry, dry, dry. Then where should we go? Um, eyebrows. Eyebrows are very important. Um, my, you know my best advice ever is never ever drink and pluck. This is a very, very bad idea. Because what happens is you go into that 100 zoom mirror and you go, huh, let me just pluck a few. And then you pluck a few more and then you pluck a few more and all of a sudden you look like you have like a magic marker line like Lady Gaga had in <laughs> Star is Born when she was zigging at the uh, bar. It was very funny. Anyway, so this is, this is Trish McAvoy in Natural Brunette, which I am a natural brunette. Um, I've had to start dyeing my hair. I'm allergic to every single hair dye on the planet, except for this thing called hair print. And it's the most annoying thing because it takes like two and a half hours to do the whole process and they only have three colors. So I was, I used to do the color called dark and it was so dark. It was like black. So now I'm using a color called brown and it's a little more mellow, but man, I hate it. I'm so not into maintenance. I like to get in and get out. The only things I have to do, you know, obviously is like get my nails done. And then every like six, eight weeks I get that hair color, but everything else I pretty much do my own maintenance for myself which is kind of a fail building a beauty salon in the house because I never use it because I always sit here. Um, the girls use it sometimes. All right. I feel like I have to fix this eyebrow un poquito, but I think it's okay. All right. So go with the natural lines of your eyebrows. I love a pencil. Some people prefer a brush and powder, but I, sometimes I think that gets a little thick. Um, okay. And then, so Remember when I was on Housewives and I always wore like really, really dark eyes and people would do cartoons of me with like black eyes and it would always crack me up. I still love my dark smoky eye and when I feel like putting it all together or have a press event or something, I still do it. But if I'm just doing makeup to go out for the day or if, we're, if Terry and I are going out to dinner, I just don't feel like doing the whole thing. So here's my new, my new routine. This is a Dior palette from a recent runway show. It's number 517, and it's got all these cool colors, but for some reason, I became mildly obsessed with this yellow color and just doing the lid. So I'm just gonna hit the lid a little bit. Now, when I feel like putting the whole thing together, um, two of my favorite palettes, I love the original Jaclyn Hill palette. You can see I've used so many of them. I love this original Jaclyn Hill palette. It's just, it's perfection. The colors are really nice and they're creamy and they stay on really nicely. So I really love that palette. And then I have a few Morphe palettes. 
that I love all, you can say I've used this one a lot too. I love this palette. It's got a lot of darker colors. It's got neutral tones. And I love these burgundies. I use these a lot. Um, for some reason, blue really doesn't look very good on me. Remember the debacle of the Housewives reunion where I was wearing, I wore this really beautiful blue Victoria Beckham dress. And you know, I had done my makeup and I had this Tom Ford eye palette and it was a navy eyeshadow and I did it in my crease and I was like, gosh, that looks so beautiful. I love it. And then I didn't recheck it under the lights and I looked like Mimi from the Drew Carey show. It was so hideous. And I've tried to incorporate blue since then because Kim Kardashian does such a great job when, and Mario, when he does her makeup and does all that blue and, you know, we have similar coloring. So, you know, eyes and hair. Um, it just does not work on me. It's just not good. Anyway, so I do that. And if I'm not going to use that yellow, I'll just use anything, just anything kind of light and shimmery, I think works really nicely. This is Tom Ford Liquid Liner in Black. There's actually two sides of this. So on this side, it's like a thicker, fatter brush and this one's a little thinner. I never use the thicker, fatter one. I only use this one. It makes the nicest line. It's kind of dummy proof. Okay, so I make a line on top and then I'll take, you know what, all my makeup is like in the wrong spot today. I'm not really sure what happened here, but here we go. Um, this is a Chanel eye pencil in black. And I just color in like a first little black layer. Okay, and then I do my mascara. Now, I love this Chanel <laughs> mascara, but I'm out of it. So I have this little tiny sample, so I'm gonna use that. Um, but typically it's like, it's like black with a, with a silver thing. I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but it's good because a lot of times with my lashes, especially the bottom lashes, they'll touch my eyes down here and I'll get those little black dots. But this Chanel one is really, really good. It doesn't bleed on anything. Lashes are, you know, it's tough. I don't like lash extensions because I always feel like it looks like snuffleupagus. It's like, you know, they're long, but they don't really get thick. And then if you lose one, you've got like a bald spot in the middle, which is not that cute. I think I still have, oops. I think I still have a little mascara on from last night. I don't think I took it off that well. So it's a little clumpy, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so I do up top and then I do the bottoms. I'd really like to experiment with some bottom false eyelashes. I haven't tried that yet. Okay, there we go. See, those lashes look pretty good. And honestly, if I was like running out to just pick up the kids or something, and I, usually I don't wear the makeup, but if I was just having a little makeup, I would probably just stop the eye there. But we're not gonna do that. Um, then I'll put on a little lip liner. I'm looking for one that's sharpened. Um, I love Wet n Wild 666. It's such a great lip liner and it's really good for everyone. Pretty much every skin tone can wear this. So I like to line my lips and color them in and then apply a lipstick and or a lip gloss on top of them. Unless, sometimes if it's a red color, um, it gets too dark underneath it. So you have to experiment, but pretty much you can wear anything over that. Okay, let's jump to my lashes. I used to have these favorite lashes and they stopped making them. And so I now use these. These are from um, House of House of Lashes, and these are called Wing It Mini. I bought like 12,000 of them. Not that many, but it feels like it. The bill felt like that because uh, I love these and they're kind of perfect for my eye. So if you've never done your own lashes before, it, you know, it doesn't have to be that difficult. You just have to practice. 
Some people like to use a tweezer to apply. Some people use their fingers. I just use my fingers. So you take it off the board like this. And I love House of Lashes because, you know, I'm allergic to so many different things and I love their glue. It doesn't smell bad. It smells kind of like pineapple. I like this white one and it dries clear. Um, and also the glue that lashes use. So it's not just about the glue that you use to apply the lash to your eye. They use glue to put the lash on the board. So sometimes I can be allergic to that too. Okay, then um, I like to trim the lash a little bit. Now, if you've never used a lash before, or it's a new lash, it's probably a good idea to like put it on your eye and like eyeball it and see how much you want to cut off. But I use these, I use these constantly, so I know. I just cut off the little end. So I cut off the little end, and then I can always tell what kind of day it's going to be depending on how my lash goes on. So if my lash goes on super easy and fine, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a good night. Everything's good. And if it's all wonky and messed up, I'm like, uh-oh, troubles are brewing. Okay, so then you're going to want to blow on it so it's tacky. And then I put it in that shape of your eye. And then you want to just look down. and apply. Oh, I think it's going to be a good day. Look at that. Voila. Look at the difference though. I mean, honestly, look at the difference between a lash and a no lash. It really just makes the whole eye sort of open up and pop and, and look great. It's funny. I actually, I feel most dressed once I have my lashes on. Okay, so now we'll cut the other one. And weirdly, I have to cut my left eye lash shorter than my right one. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if my eye is shaped differently. Is it not as long? No clue. But that's what I figured out. Okay. What am I going to do about my thumb? It's so gross. Damn psoriasis. Like I said, you can use a tweezer to do this. You can just use your hands, anything you like. And some people curl their eyelashes before they put their fake ones on. I don't know why I never do that. Probably should. Okay. Dry, dry, dry. Very nice. Sorry, itchy. Okay. So now we have our lashes on. Then I take my liner back out and I go over the lash line. One of the things I love about these lashes is that the band is a little bit thicker, um, which is nice because it almost gives you an eyeliner effect, um, which I love. I'm not even getting up close in the mirror. You can see, you know what? I know my face so well. I can almost do it with my eyes closed. I have done a full face of makeup, including lashes, in the car. Crazy. There was one time that Terry and I were in Manhattan, and we were all the way downtown, and we were doing press, and we had to be all the way uptown, and our alarm didn't go off. And the PR person called us, and we answered the phone. We're like, hello? She's like, I'm downstairs. We were supposed to get up an hour before, and she was downstairs and we needed to leave that second or else we were going to miss this, this show. It was a live show. And so like, I didn't even take a shower. I just threw on my dress. We I grabbed my makeup. We ran downstairs. I pulled my hair up and I did my whole face in the car, put my lashes on, got it all together and we made it. Okay. Now, if you remember this from the last time I did my makeup, I still have this Bobbi Brown color. I would love to tell you what color it is, but it, the whole thing is like destroyed in the back and they never sold this as a single. It was like a holiday thing. And you can see it's dwindling down. Okay, so I have this cute little Chanel makeup brush that I lick because 
I don't feel like going over to the sink. Still. And then I do under my eyes. Just to kind of marry the top and bottom. Perfect. Okay. And then let's see what lipstick we're going to do. Here's a little Chantecaille. I think this is called T Rose. Now, I like that my skin looks a little dewy and glowy, but I just want to hit a little, just a touch of powder. And then I'm kind of obsessed with this little champagne pop powder. And you can see I've cracked the whole thing, but I don't care because I still like it and I still use it. As my grandmother would say, waste not, want not. And I just put it here to give myself a little glow. Okay, it gives me a little glow. Do I need gloss? Let's see. Let's put on a little touch. A lot of times people ask me what lip color I'm wearing and I like blend four things so I never actually know. But I do like that Bite Lip Lab. I've had, I've made lipsticks. This is one of them from them, which is so fun because you can go into their place in Manhattan and you blend your own lipstick, which is super cool. And you can name it and give it a flavor and it's really fun. So this is basically my everyday kind of face or my running out to dinner kind of face. And I think that the lashes make the eyes pop, um, but it's not too much. I just don't always feel like wearing a pound of makeup on my eyes. And I think it's maybe a little bit more youthful. I don't know, what do you think? I hope you enjoyed this version of my makeup routine. Let me know if you like this lighter version with just the lids. Sound off below and let me know what you wanna see next. Do you wanna see my full glam face next? Or what, my hair? Uh, I just cut my hair, so I'm just glad I can put it up in a bun still. Um, don't forget to become a subscriber. We're going to start doing giveaways again.